Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today you're getting a double upload because my audio fucked up in the last recording. I don't know why. I am trying to fix it right now. We're trying new filters and everything, but let's go over Eldegoss. Today we're going to break down Eldegoss in all ELOs. We're working our way all the way up to Masters and the number one build. This is the beginner build for Eldegoss. This is what I'm seeing commonly throughout Beginner Cup and into a little bit of expert but most people change their build moving into that leaf tornado is commonly taken because most people don't understand pollen puff is a support healing item and a damaging move uh, and cotton spore is more taken than cotton guard because it's instant healing versus sustained healing and movement speed most trainers don't have a lot of items so this is the common loadout because they get these two free and most people buy buddy barrier kind of off the bat if they're playing eldegoss and then potion is more commonly taken because of well they just have it. They don't have any other one. Moving into... Oh, that button didn't work. Whoops. Fine. Moving into uh, early Great Cup and um, kind of a little bit into the late one. Uh, Battle Buddy still stays. Shell Bell is now added. And Wiselands is more commonly used. And it's just a lot more people are taking X attack. Again, they're not changing really how they play. They're just trying to play an aggressive support and just poke out a lot more people moving into a little bit more into like the late expert cup early veteran cup players this is more from like expert two and up uh battle buddies still stays but wise uh wise glasses stay uh shell bell is now added for the sustain and cooldown reduction expert button is brought because most people know that they need to flash out of fights and they need to be able to pull in and out uh but most people now bring pollen buff because they understand the aspect that this is zillion's bomb better and then Cotton Spore is brought because of the late healing and movement speed on top of the shield. So it's just sustainably a lot better of a move. And more people are understanding the kit of the Pokemon versus just wildly picking the Pokemon for shits and giggles I play Eldegoss. An alternative build is this. A lot commonly people also play this because they feel that they need to play uh, their own solo laner. This is when you're not queuing with friends and you just don't know what to do. A lot of people do run this build and it's called Mage Eldegoss. Uh, you still bring Pollen Puff and Cotton Spore because they're just the better sustain items, but you just bring two uh, attacking, uh, special attacking items with Eject Button. This helps you sustain and lane better and it helps you poke damage. A lot of people argue that this is the better Eldegoss build. I personally don't like it. I think the other build is better with Shell Bell, but that's because cooldown reduction lets me spam Pollen Puff. And if you get into that really late game, you can actually have two pollen puffs on the board state. And now moving into what the number one player in the world does for Eldegoss. This blows my mind. He's playing this in Masters ELO right now. Uh, and he brings EXP share back. And the reason for this is because of what players do. Basically, he plays uh, I how it works and how it was explained uh, in his video. He he is in Korea, by the way, so it was very like uh very like miss like a lot of his english was just a little hit and miss he brings exp share because he no longer has to farm properly he can take the first two a palms at the beginning of the match and go for an early score four but then he only takes a farm here and there for an example he sees someone's trying to take an autonone on their side of the jungle or on his side he'll snipe it with pollen puff or an auto he'll then Use his ultimate to force people out of fights, but again, he's behind constantly by one level. EXP share actually fixes that, so he's not behind one level, he's behind a quarter of a level. So he's constantly catching up to his team, a very weird progression. This build is being dubbed the most optimal build for Eldegoss. On top of EXP share, gives movement speed. Something that where Eldegoss really falls short is getting out from speed stars like Gengar and Absol. This item on level 30 fixes it. He is able to outrun most Pokemon with a level 30 floatstone. The only issue that this build has run into, from what I have been told, is if he gets 4v1. You are dived by four Pokemon, this Eldegoss panics and he doesn't quite this build panics and doesn't quite sustain as hard as it would with a cooldown reduction item or a separate um, attacking item. Either way, this build is great and optimized, but it does run into that issue. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. 
about Eldegoss. I like all these builds personally, and I am actually trying this build right here with the EXP share. Uh, the issue is that my EXP share is level 1. Uh, my other items are all on level 16, so I am kind of playing that back foot of leveling it back up. But again, I want to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And if you want more videos where I break down uh, how a Pokemon has been played in all ELOs, let me know. I'm glad to do more videos like this. Hopefully, hopefully, I know it sounds weird. I've recorded this video three times. Uh, I've had some OBS issues recently. Uh, hopefully, this video comes out. If it does, please look up, leave a <laughs> leave a lick. Wow, my English. <laughs> please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.